Want to speak real English from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at EnglishClass101.com. Hi, everybody. My name is Alicia. In this lesson, I'm going to talk about some phone related expressions. I've chosen some key verbs that we use when we're using the phone. So, today I'm going to explain the meanings of these verbs and give some example sentences so you can use them too. Okay, let's begin. First, let's start with the first, maybe the basic action of、uh, using a phone. The first verb is to pick up, to pick up, not pick up, but pick up separately. Pick and up are separate words. To pick up the phone. To pick up the phone means to answer an incoming call. So this means when your phone begins buzzing, literally, we physically pick up the phone. And answer the call. So, meaning we receive the incoming call. So, this on a mobile phone refers to this action to pick up the phone and answer the phone.、Um, before mobile phones, when phones were attached to the wall or when phones were、um, like a physical object on a table, it meant physically picking up the receiver and putting it to one's ear to answer the phone. So, an example sentence Can someone pick up the phone? Can someone pick up the phone? So, answer the phone. Someone's calling. Okay, let's go to the opposite then.、Um, the next verb is to hang up. To hang up. Again, this is two words hang and up. To hang up. So, to hang up the phone means to end a phone call. So, this word actually this has a bit of history then. So,、um, before mobile phones, when phones were you know, objects that were in rooms, when we finished the call, we would place the receiver. Back on the phone、um, stand. There was a stand for the phone receiver to rest on. So it was like we had to hang the receiver on its stand. Or when phones were attached to walls as well, we would hang it on the wall. So we use to hang up to refer to ending a phone call. However, even though we don't hang up our mobile phones, we just push a button on our mobile phones, we still use the verb hang up actually to refer to ending a call. Of course, you can say to end a call as well, but hang up is still very, very commonly used. So you can use it too. This means to end a call. An example She hung up on me. She hung up on me. So here, past tense, hung up. Hang up becomes hung up in past tense. H U N G, hung up. Okay, let's go along to the next verb, to call. To call, a very basic verb for this lesson. To call just means to communicate by phone. We can also use to call for like Skype calls or other video service calls. Anything that you use,、um, like a mobile phone or some kind of video service to do,、um, you can use to call to refer to that. That means like FaceTime or whatever. Any other similar application, you can use call to refer to that. So, to communicate via phone is to call. So, an example of this、uh, let's call the customer service number. Let's call the customer service number. Okay, let's move along to the next verb, which is to return a call. To return a call. To return a call means to call a person who called you. The nuance here is that you missed the call. So, if I make a phone call, I try to call you. But you are not available, I hang up the phone. Later, when you are available, you call me. You can say, I'm returning your call. That is called returning someone's call. So I called you first, you missed it, so you're calling me now. You've returned my call. Another example of this I'm returning your call regarding your order. I'm returning your call regarding, in other words, about your order. So to return a call is Usually because you missed the call, the first call. So let's look at the next word, which is to call back. This is very, very similar to to return a call. However, this is a key difference. You may not have missed the call when you use the expression to call back. So, yes, when you use call back, it means you are returning someone's call. Someone called you. However, maybe、um, in an example situation, I call you. And you are like, able to pick up your phone. You can answer, but you're busy. You're not able to talk in that moment. In that case, you can ask, is it okay if I call you back? In other words, can I return your call a little bit later? So, in that case, you did not miss my call, but you can't talk right now. So, we can use the verb call back in a situation like this. So, let's look at another example. 
I'm in a meeting. Can I call you back in an hour? So here you'll see we've put you between call and back. Can I call you back? Can I call him back? Can I call her back in an hour? Um, so you can include who are you going to call. Put that here between call and back. Okay. Let's move along then to the next expression. To put someone on hold. To put someone on hold means to keep someone on the phone line but without talking. So I think most people have probably experienced this, especially when calling a customer service uh, phone line. So you make the call and you have to wait for a long time. There's usually music playing. That's being on hold. I'm on hold in that situation. However, sometimes the operator picks up the phone and the operator needs to take care of some things, needs to do some tasks or confirm your information. They'll say, is it okay if I put you on hold? So, meaning the operator is going to put you back, like put you back on hold, keep you waiting, but will not cut the call. So the operator may say, I'll put you on hold, meaning please wait, in other words. So an example of this, I'll put you on hold while I confirm the information. So this shows um, you're just waiting, you're in a waiting period. All right, let's go along to the next expression, to go to answering machine, to go to answering machine. This means the call is answered by a machine. So again, this expression is actually a little bit old fashioned. Uh, before mobile phones, there was a separate machine that was used only for answering calls when someone was unavailable to pick up the phone. So there were actual like tapes or when it became digital, they were digital answering machines, but they were specifically for picking up the phone when someone wasn't at home, for example, an answering machine. But today, of course, we have mobile phones and we don't have uh, answering machines, actual machines that we use, but we can still use this expression if you like. So here, um, yes, call is answered by a machine or in this case, maybe like an automatic voice system answers the call. So an example of this, he didn't answer. My call went to the answering machine. My call went to the answering machine. So that means like my call was received by an automated voice system. Okay, great. Let's go on to the next expression, which is to leave a voicemail, to leave a voicemail. This is kind of interesting. This means to send a voice message, to send a voice message. So this is used typically after this step. So your call is answered by an answering machine or a, an automated voice system, uh, and you want to leave a message for the person. You can say, uh, I'm going to like send a voice message, I suppose, but actually the best expression to use is leave a voicemail, to leave a voicemail. So you leave the voicemail on the answering machine. You leave the voicemail with the automated uh, answering system. An example here, I left her a voicemail. Hopefully she'll call back. So past tense here, I left her a voicemail, I left her a voicemail. So we do, we always use this verb, to leave, to leave a voicemail, to leave a voicemail. So let's go on to the last item on this list, to dial, to dial something. This refers to inputting numbers for the phone number. So um, a long time ago with rotary phones, people would actually use a dial. It was a circular dial where the numbers were input and we had to wait. Well, people actually waited for the dial to spin back to its original position before inputting the next number. Uh, then we graduated to using keypads, and of course now we use keypads that are digital on our mobile phones, perhaps. So to dial refers to the act of inputting numbers into the phone. So here, dial 1-800-555-4422 to reach us is a great example of how this might be used. So dial, in other words, means input these numbers to reach us. So to dial refers to inputting numbers in that way. We don't use dial in situations outside of uh, phone calls though. So we wouldn't say like dial um, information into your computer necessarily. We use it for phones uh, a lot. So you might hear this um, or you might just hear um, call us at this number. So uh, just a little history point there perhaps. 
Okay, but those are a few words that are related to phones and phone use, so I hope that those are helpful for you as you use the phone and as you talk about your phone-related communications. Of course, if you have any questions or comments or want to try to use one of these words in a sentence, please feel free to do so in the comment section of this video. If you like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Also, as always, make sure to check out EnglishClass101.com for some other good English study resources. Thank you very much for watching this lesson and I will see you again soon. Bye bye!